Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to briefly discuss the tie tone rules. So the first piece of information we need to know is one, that tie has the tie consonants are organized into three categories: high, mid, and low. Why are they organized this way? Well, these three categories each follow different tone rules. So if a consonant of one category is used, then the way we determine the tone will be different than a consonant used from a different category. The next piece of information we need to know is what a dead and live syllable are. This will help us to determine the tone if there's no tone mark. So first of all, what is a dead syllable according to Thai? A dead syllable is a syllable that ends with a short vowel or a stop final consonant. We can summarize it by saying it has a harsh ending. So for example, sa 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 a sa is short and harsh. Another example is a long vowel but ends in a final stop consonant. Bo bai mai is do dek sa da a bo bai mai da. It doesn't end in a soft way but it ends da. It ends hard with a hard consonant. So that is dead. Now what about live? Well, live is the opposite. Live is either ending in a long vowel or it ends in a soft consonant. Soft final consonant, that being. So, for example, we could have sa 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 da a sa, or we can have do de sa da mai hana ga, and then no nu in the end, and that would be dan. Dan is not harsh; it's soft. So that is live. These two pieces of information will help us to determine the tone in the end. Finally, the third piece of information that would be helpful in determining the final tone is two tone marks that the rules never change for. Essentially, when you see that tone mark, you automatically know what the tone is. The first one is mai chatawa, and it looks like a little plus sign. When you see that tone, it means it's a rising tone. It will always be a rising tone if you see that tone marker. The second one is mai tri. If you see that tone, it means it'll be a high tone. When you see that tone marker, high tone. So we can set those off aside, knowing that it's as simple as that. Now, let's break down the rest of the tone rules. It gets a bit more complicated from here, but it's definitely doable. Looking at the high class consonants, if we see a my a, the little line, we will know that it is a low tone. For example, ha he. Owen, no ngu, huang. If we see my to, then we know that it will be a falling tone. For example, ha he, sa da o ngu ngu, hong, hong. Next, if we have no tone mark, we have to determine is it dead or live. So let's look at this example. Ha he, sa da o gao gai, ha. Well. It ends in a hard consonant. That makes it dead. If it's a dead consonant in the high class, it's if it's a dead syllable in the high class consonants. That means it's a low tone. Next, if <clears throat> we take another example, ha he sa da o. Now, that doesn't end in a consonant. It ends in a vowel, which makes it soft, which makes it live. Uh, it is a long vowel, by the way. Sorry, if it were short vowel, it would be dead. But in this case, long vowel ha. Well, if it's a live consonant in the high consonant class, live syllable, high consonant, that makes it a rising tone ha. That covers the high class consonants. Now, what about the mid class consonants? Well. If we have a the my a, the little line, then we know that it's going to be a low tone, ga, exactly the same as the previous class we talked about. If we see a my to, the if we see a my to like you see on the screen, for example, ga gai sa da o no nu my to, it will be falling, gone. That also is exactly the same as the previous class, the high class consonants. Now, what about if it's a dead consonant? For example, da de sa da e ga gai 
de. Well, exactly as the previous, it will be a low tone. So why do we even separate these? Well, here's the difference. If it is live, for example, gokai, sara o. Again, that's a long vowel, sara o. Then it will be a flat tone, ga. Not low, not ga, but ga. So that covers the mid-class consonants. Now, what about the low consonants? They're a bit different. So if we have my egg, for example, ka kai sara o yo yak my egg. It will be a falling tone. Kai. Kai. Now, if we have a my toe, for example, ka kai sara o no nu my toe, it will be a high tone. Kon. Kon. Let's look at a live an example of a live syllable. For example, ka kai sara o if it's live, then it's a flat tone. Ka, just like the mid-class consonants. Now finally, let's look at an example of a dead. With dead and low-class consonants, there is a extra step that we have to look at. I don't know why, there just is. So with dead, low-class consonants, you have to ask, is it a short vowel or is it a long vowel? So for example, we'll look at two words that are identical with the exception of the fact that they have short or long. First word is lo ling mai hanaka ga gai. If it is a short vowel like that uses mai hanaka ga gai and it is dead, it is a rising. Lak lak. However, if we change that mai hanaka to a long vowel sara a then it's lo ling sara a ga gai. It is a falling tone. Lak, lak. So, this is all a lot to take in in one sitting in just a few minutes. How could we simplify that? Well, if you look down in the comments, or if you look above the comments in the, in the notes section below this video, I've included a link to a cheat sheet that you can use. It's extremely helpful when learning the Thai tone rules, learning to read, to go buy a cheat sheet. I hope these things help. I hope you enjoy the cheat sheet. If you have any thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thank you.